Oh, Read okay. the English one. <laughs> I speak French and German. Okay. Is there anybody in particular who you pit yourself against, have a friendly rivalry with when you compete? Um, you know what? I don't want to be boring and just say something to please everyone, but I really don't. Like honestly, I get along with everybody, and I like some people more and some less. And I'm not going to answer who those people are. <laughs> but generally, I get along with everybody. So I don't think I have a friendly rivalry with anybody. Okay, you can complete. That's six points. Yes. yes. <laughs> five five points. Five points. Five. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you could train your coach for a day, what would you make him or her do? Um, actually, I my coach is a nice dancer too, Irina Romanova, and I actually took her on the harness, you know, on the right with the double axles. She was awesome. So actually, that's what I made her do, which is double axles. And the funny thing is, in a, in a lot of ways, I'm pushing myself also, so my coach is super supportive and she's amazing. But at the same time, I feel like it's my responsibility to push myself. So sometimes in my head, I feel like I'm pushing and coaching myself. So basically, I'm making myself do all this crazy stuff, you know, like run throughs and programs even after a long weekend or after working or studying all night. I still make myself skate the program, which it's a nightmare sometimes, you know, <laughs> because it's so hard and exhausting, but I'm pushing myself through it, I guess. But if it's the coach, I would make her do more double axles on the heart, <laughs> she's actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm only taking fives. Okay. <laughs> like, are they different then? Like, yeah. oh, kind of they are right? different questions. They're just easier. Mm. That's oh, easy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can try. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win, yes. <laughs> There's a big sheet. That's gonna be a big text. Oh no. <laughs> what is what has been the most difficult moment in your career? I don't think those are hard questions. <laughs> Do you have tens? Do you have like a blue? No. <laughs> Maybe. We just don't want to be mean. Because I was ex no, but I was expecting mean stuff. Yeah. Sure <laughs> personal stuff. Girl stuff, you know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's actually pretty easy also. Um, after 2006, I went to America and I I switched coaches and I had a really rough time when I was there because I had a hard time with my skating and then the Austrian Federation, they weren't happy with what I did training wise and where I skated. So basically I was in a position where I lost um, all the funding due to my bad skating. And then instead of going back to Austria, I said, you know, I don't need your money. I'm just going to, well, it's not just money, but I don't need anything. I'm just going to stay in America and that time was so hard because everything that I saved financially and I know it's not about money only but you have to be able to live and buy food and find a place to sleep so at that time I was literally staying on a friend's couch for half a year and he was really nice and let me stay there so I don't know I didn't have a coach I didn't have a country to support me after you know being at the Olympics already I was kind of used to that and then I just had to rebuild my life in America so that was a really, really tough moment, but I think it shaped who I am and gave me experiences that really help nowadays and really help, will help me in the future too. Okay. So, okay, eight questions, right? Uh, six, 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 six questions. Six. Say, but yeah. three more. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> I want to do all of them. I want to do like 20 questions. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Well, we can have 30 points and then keep. You yes. should all of them. If you, you want, after the red, you can try like. One I don't want to. But you have the <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the when you get the points. Okay, I want 30 points. Okay. <laughs> um, if you want, you can make blue ones for the next one. Oh, that yeah. would be awesome. Okay. Spanish. No, it's Spanish too. The audience should see what it looks like. It's confusing. There we go. <laughs> what quality do you have that other skaters lack? Um, that's a cool question too, actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say that other skaters lack it, so I don't want to put the negative tone to it. But I think I really focus on creating a unique style, and I try to I try to I try to skate and enjoy every edge instead of rushing through things. And even if there's moments when 
I'm not doing much and I'm just gliding an edge. I really think there's a lot of power in that. So I, I'm very proud of having found my own style. And I like also teaching that style to, to my students, even though I don't want to give them my style. Like, mm -hmm. They can create their unique style. But I think it's very important that you find something special. And also in interviews, I guess, I don't always do it well. It's better to give an answer that is not safe. That's why I like the, the <laughs> because it's exciting for the audience and it's mm -hmm. unique. So I'd rather answer non-generic questions or answers. Same with skating. I don't mm -hmm. like to do things that everybody else does also because it's boring for the audience. So I don't mind being a spot or two lower, um, but people enjoy it more. So I think when it comes to the, my style that I want to create on the ice, I think that's something that um, I'm proud of. How many more do I have? I, uh, I just want to stay here. <laughs> I just want to stay here all night. <laughs> every single question there is. <laughs> okay. What is the event with the worst organization you've been to? <laughs> I think that's a perfect example for. I'm not going to give an answer that is boring. <laughs> I'm not going to give a politically correct answer. I don't really care. We like that. <laughs> um, you're from, Sp from Spain, Spain, right? Yes. I haven't been to Spain, so I can't say Spain stuff. <laughs> because it's, Spain is probably awesome, because yeah. you guys are so much fun. We're from, we're from England, so if you feel like insulting Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> That's a good one. The, the food was actually pretty horrible, yes. Sorry. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about English food. I, I have to say I love British accents, and I'm scared. I myself pride myself on British accents. <laughs> the Brits say that I'm pretty bad at it, but whatever. <laughs> but the food is horrible. I'm sorry. Great, great. So, Don't judge um, us think. by Sheffield. <laughs> there are better places. Really? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, I'll have to try. <laughs> you mean like a McDonald's in? in <laughs> Big Mac is the same everywhere. No. Um, okay. I, know. I have to think. To be honest with you, I I, I like Sheffield. Like the rink was pretty nice actually, and the audience was awesome. People were supportive, so that's probably the most important part. And this event here is amazing. Like the audience is incredible, and I love the ice in the rink. I'm not a big fan of the hotel. <laughs> we, we've heard about the hotel. I have a little story and then I'm going to move on to the next answer. I'm going to get my six points. <laughs> this time, um, we were in a hotel room and then on the seventh floor and then we, I came back from practice and I was still by myself and suddenly it smelled like... Is it censored? Do I have to be careful? So whatever you that? want. I'm going to say a nice version of it. It smelled like poop. <laughs> And it smelled even worse. That's the worst part. It smelled like urine, mm -hmm. like pee. Yeah. <laughs> it smelled like wet dog also. So it was like wet dog with urine and and poop all mixed together. And my friend and I were actually talking about how that happened. And I think because I think it was not just my room. It was my room, my doctor's room. The hallway smelled like all that. So. I think what happened is the, the cleaning people mm -hmm. had a bet and they were probably like, I dare you to pee in the, <laughs> in the cleaning, whatever they use, you know, in, yeah. in, in the bucket and just clean every room with your urine <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, put a wet dog in it or something. <laughs> and I think the other lady was like, watch me. <laughs> She probably peed in the bucket and just cleaned oh. the windows and everything, so it was horrible. Oh, yeah. And then we switched rooms, um, and they were so annoyed with us, and I kept walking. Like, we already switched to the fourth floor, and then um, the room smelled also. There was no soap. The shower curtain was nasty. Like, same thing, sweaty old man or something like that. <laughs> and then um, I went downstairs, and I said, can you bring us more soap and change the curtain or something and they say yes and then went upstairs and uh, the mattress had like a plastic thing under it so again coming back to urine you know getting that <laughs> they're ready for that like <laughs> in that hotel if you have to actually go and you're and you're lazy and you want to keep sleeping and you just want to go it's fine because there's a plastic cover there's a plastic cover on the bed 
so we took that out, and then, and then I noticed that um, the sheets were really thin, and the mattress smelled again. And I know that when I'm talking, it sounds like I'm super spoiled. And in the lobby, they were probably those spoiled Austrians or Americans, whatever you know, like whatever they think we are. Um, so we had, so I ordered two sheets. How, how much time? How much time? <laughs> Just keep going. You can just cut it out. We have no camera. Um, right. um, do you have more of those hats? No <laughs> hats. You do. Oh, you do too. Oh my god. That's so cool. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try it on. There you go. Nice. Try it. The rest of the interview is with that. That's the next part. I'm gonna finish the story like this. So I went downstairs and I complained about it. And then there was one more part. And then this cleaning lady comes up. <laughs> so the cleaning lady came to my room. And then my roommate was already there. And then um, I told her, I, I was like, look, it's plastic on the bed. And she didn't speak English or German. I was like, it's plastic. And she was like, I know. <laughs> if you want to pee, pee. Yeah. But she didn't actually, she probably thought it. <laughs> It's pretty convenient if you think about it, right? And then I told her I was like, "Can, can you, can you take it off?" And she's like, "No." <laughs> and then I don't know. I took the second sheet, and then my roommate was standing there, and she was in the hallway. And then I stared at her, and I just made like signs, and I was like, <laughs> like this. And she like just looked at me like this. And then I was like. I was like trying to tell her to clean it and she didn't say anything again. She just kept staring at me. And then suddenly my roommate couldn't take it anymore. And he started <laughs> cracking up. He was laughing so hard. And then I, and he was like, he just kind of walked away and faced me and he was laughing so hard and I couldn't take it anymore. And I started laughing too. And then the cleaning lady started laughing too. So we had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, long story short, it's hard to come up with one particular Part that is badly organized. I think every competition has some flaws, but mainly I think talking about positive stuff again because that's what it's all about in life. Uh, <laughs> I think this answer deserves an applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. But in general, everything's great, and we enjoy, you know, coming to different countries and competitions. Okay, next one. <laughs> is the last one. Last one? Yes. Oh, no. Last one. <laughs> I have so many stories. I can tell you so many stories. Okay. Have you ever hated the music of any training mate? Which piece of music was it? Okay, again, I'm not going to censor at all. Um, I didn't hate it at all, and I loved, the, and I loved them. I liked the guys that were skating with me at the competition in my warm up, but they all skated to my music from last year. And I told them in the locker room, I was like, What's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> you can't choose your own music. So, no, I have no problem with it, but it was interesting. In practices, they all, like, my music came on for my program, and then the same music came on again, and then it came on again. That was kind of interesting. Um, training me to uh, I think there is always there is always a person in the rink, and I'm not going to say who it is. No, again. <laughs> I'm still going to get my six points. <laughs> um, that who like skating their program 50 million times per day and just keep doing it over and over again and then it doesn't matter what they skate to it gets annoying um, I think the last one was no I can't say it <laughs> Actually, yeah, you cool. know what Ami I'm gonna say it Ami it's Ami Indian skater great girl I love her she skated her program so many times if she sees it she's in Chicago now mm -hmm. um, Ami Parekh yeah. Ami Parekh stop skating your program so many times <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I said it. But she's a good friend, actually. So, okay. Is there any music that you hate um, for skating? Like, I don't know. You've um, heard it so many times, and you already hate. I'm it. never going to use blah or something. You know what? I actually use a lot of blah music. So I <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, I skated to Aranjuez last, like, last Olympics. I mean. It's so generic, it's so boring, right? <laughs> but it, I don't know, whatever. I thought it was cool at the time. <laughs> Probably looking back in five years at this interview, I'll be like, oh, I thought it was cool back then. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, I skated into a lot of them. I don't know. I think it doesn't matter because if a skater loves it and they do well with it, it's fine. I think what I get really annoyed with is, what I get annoyed with is, 
when people skate to a music they don't like. So it doesn't even matter if I don't like. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like no, there's nothing. And it's just they kind of you can tell that they hate it and there's no connection. So I think that's more important than the actual music. It's okay. Thirty points. Thirty Woo! points. Yes. Yay! And now I'm gonna. Ask now Was it the price for the <laughs> longest more. interview? We'll stay here all night. <laughs> yes. Somebody needs to order a like, beer or something. We can give you bonus points because it was it was the longest. <laughs> <laughs> We've done. Like the record was, I think, okay, Adam with, uh, Adam with Adam Ripon with yeah. ten minutes and, yeah. Yeah, and Jason and this Brown is already two with hours. fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Jason, Jason, yeah, he was yeah. awesome at nationals. Yes. Yeah. I was in Boston mm -hmm. last week too watching nationals. So one of my school students skated there in intermediate, so I was there watching. It's amazing. Anyways, which talent would you like to have? Can I have like Anything. many talents? <laughs> no, one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I wish I had the talent that I can change this into any talent. <laughs> no, actually, I think is it a superpower or talent? Just talent. Whatever. Actually, if it's a talent, if it's a superpower, that's different. And you know, I'm gonna say talent. I wish I was. You know those geniuses that are so smart and they just know all the math and they can they see it in shapes. I want to be like that. Except sometimes they're socially awkward, mm -hmm. and you might think I'm socially awkward too. That's fine. <laughs> but I wish I was like one of those really really smart genius people, mm -hmm. but still be socially like normal. You know, <laughs> that would be so cool. Because um, I always admire those smart people mm -hmm. and how they can just do all the math in their head. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I think everybody, we all want to go to sleep. <laughs> or whatever. You can okay. do a yellow one to try. A yellow one? Okay. Cool. And then you try I'm gonna take one from somewhere. Like, yeah. Is that. They are newer and older, so. We added for sure. I think we're being filmed. <laughs> just one second. <laughs> one second, we're almost done. Okay. What is the element in which you are terrible at, and the one you like the like the less? That's not English, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are from. Um, sorry for insulting. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what do you like less? Like whoever wrote it, like you don't need to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, you could see it today. I actually there's a reason why my axle was so horrible. Because in the summer I could do triple axle. And then I, I almost broke my leg, so... Okay, well, it's like literally 15 seconds. I'm just gonna finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, thank you. Um, anyways, I, 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 I understand axles really well. My body sometimes doesn't want to do axles well, mm -hmm. like today. So that would be the best example. Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you.